downward sloping uh, curve is not indicative of, of all goods. That is, there are some goods uh, that have uh, upward sloping demand curves like what I have represented uh, here. In such, if you have such a demand curve and the price is P1, the quantity uh, demanded can be something like uh, Q1. If in fact uh, the firm were to raise its price to P2, the quantity demanded uh, would, go, would go up. Uh, the presumption is that with the higher uh, price, the good would take on a, uh, would would take on some prestige, and more consumers would want to uh, buy uh, the good. And so, if producers have a choice between combination A and combination uh, B, uh, then you can imagine that producers would eagerly choose B uh, over A because they can sell a larger quantity over a a oh, for a higher price. And we might imagine that they would produce, choose combination C over B. But we have to worry about uh, where this demand curve ends. Uh, if we continue to raise uh, the price, should we expect the consumption to always uh, rise, even if you have greater and greater prestige associated with the good? Well, the answer is no, because at some very high price, uh, consumers are going to be priced out of the market. There are going to be fewer consumers who are willing uh, or able uh, to buy the goods, others less willing uh, to buy it. Moral of the story is you can imagine that this demand curve uh, has a backward uh, bending uh, portion uh, of the curve. So if producers are at A, they would gladly move to B, and if at B, they would gladly move uh, to C. Uh, they might gladly move uh, to D and even to uh, a point E. And the question is, would they move to a point like F? Well, we will see later on, yes, they will not stay at, at, at point E and, or quantity Q3. And the answer is simple. That is, as this curve begins to bend uh, backwards, the increase in the price represented from the change from P3 to uh, P4 may lead to a lower quantity uh, purchased. But you notice that the price increase percentage-wise is greater than the reduction in the quantity and as a consequence uh, F represents more revenue than, uh, than, it, than it, uh, E. And also if, uh, the firm is producing fewer units at F than E and as a result the costs are lower uh, at F than E. Revenues are higher at F than E, so you've got a, a situation where uh, F is more profitable to E. Uh, the point to be emphasized here is that firms are not out to maximize the quantity that they sell. They're out to maximize profits, and a point like F can be a much more profitable op opportunity than, uh, than E. And for that matter, point G could be more profitable well, you can imagine that at some point as you move up this curve, uh, the price increase becomes uh, less profitable because at some extremely high price, uh, there's going to be no units sold, no revenue, and so forth. So uh, the moral of the story is that we know that the firm is going to operate uh, between where the demand curve crosses the horizontal axis and uh, uh, this point uh, here. Notice that this portion of the demand curve where a firm will naturally operate is downward sloping. And by the way, uh, notice that if you have a demand curve that looks like this and a producer is at point B, then that producer also has the option of uh, moving to point uh, G. And the question is, which would the producer choose uh, to sell uh, quantity Q2 at price P2 or price uh, P5. Uh, Obviously P5 is to be preferred over P2. Again, the producer would choose a combination in the downward sloping uh, portion of its demand curve. So as far as I'm concerned, it doesn't matter if there's some goods out there with upper sloping uh, portions of the demand curve. There's going to be a downward sloping uh, portion and that's going to be the relevant uh, range uh, whereby uh, consumers are going to be uh, making uh, their, their decisions.
At any rate, uh, we have once again um, uh, validated the law of demand based on uh, rational behavior. We have also taken account of some of the common objections uh, to uh, the use of, rash, of the downward sloping demand curve. Uh, you will see uh, uh, throughout this course uh, that the law of demand is uh, uh, one of the most important uh, uh, claims uh, that e an economist uh, can make. That is, if the price goes down, the quantity will go up. If the price goes up, the quantity uh, will go down. We will use that uh, relationship uh, time and again throughout this course. Thank you very much.